Hi everybody, Jacob here. Welcome back to my fashion bunker. A lot of you have often been asking me or still asking me, what do I really do in my life? I mean, I always tell you I work in fashion. Sometimes I give you more or less information about it, depending on what I'm doing at the moment that I'm doing it. Another one of the things, and here's another bit of the puzzle to match the puzzle picture, is um, I also do private shopping for people sometimes. So if there's somebody who asks me to find and hunt down a particular piece for them, I do that. Now, um, for a friend of mine, in this case, that's why I'm showing it also, otherwise I wouldn't be showing it. Uh, I've been hunting down a particular piece, which just arrived. And I'm going to open it up for you guys. <clears throat> Since my friend has uh, the iPhone 4 and uh, is wishing to have something to match the iPhone 4, she has been looking for a long time for an iPhone 4 Chanel holder. Now iPhone phones are not in production anymore and neither are these babies here so to find one in pristine condition is very difficult but I have my ways. Now let's look at it shall we. It comes in this uh, box which is kind of a bit glossy on the inside, outside. This is the, now we could say older Chanel box. Oh by the way I'm wearing Jeremy Scott for Adidas today, fall winter 15 the last collection. Now I'm coming close to the camera. So it has the um, old uh, school Chanel packaging that kind of has a texture to it. It comes with its authenticity card. The code begins with a 16. That's all I can say. So you can guess the year that it was made. Uh, then it has, it even came with its original Chanel wrapping paper with all the Chanel inscriptions on it. And this is the beautiful baby on the inside. I do not have an iPhone 4 myself to show you how it would fit. But, however, I might hmm, have something similar in size. No, I can't find anything here. Well, maybe this thing might fit. iPhone 5. Now, let's see how this looks first of all. We have black caviar leather, treated in the classical way, just like all of the classic Chanel bags, the timeless classic bags, most of all. Silver hardware, the double seam silver hardware, and the inside is also completely made in leather. There is no plastic use for this piece, which I think is amazing. And we have the burgundy or ox blood red uh, leather on the inside, as do all the Timeless Classic bags nowadays. We know that the Timeless Classic bags were made in... Uh, the interior was made, the, in, the inside leather was made in this burgundy color. Then for a certain period of time, Chanel made them in black and then they switched back to the burgundy color, which of course, in my opinion, is way better than the black interior. We have the silver, har uh, silver hardware, the silver print Chanel inscription in here to match the hardware. So this has been used. It is pre-loved. So you can see a little bit of usage, but it's minimal considering that this is double-sided, gorgeously executed and made leather. Look how amazing this looks. The kilting, in general, is immaculate. It's perfect. It's not as bumpy and fluffy um, as some of the made in Italy. Let me take this out. It's too long. Put in here. Um, it's not as fluffy. It's a bit more flat. It's like the Wallet on Chain made in France versions which I personally prefer. I don't like when things are too puffy in small leather goods. This is just perfection. Look how elegant and sleek this looks from the sides. And then when you're talking, oh, well, we'll get to that in a second. But anyway, so it has even slots for some credit cards or cards or whatever, or notes or whatever you need to use. And um, this pocket here, we're not going to show the entire code, but I like how we do this to hide the authenticity code number. Let me see. It's hard to do it, but in there, there you have it. That's the authenticity code. And then on the opposite side of the authenticity code is your Made in Italy logo. There you have it. And it's completely leather through and through. Now the only um, part that's not leather is inside of these pockets. This is a kind of textured silky material as we find also in the wallet on chain. Now when I come close or when I go away from the camera, so let's say you have your phone, let's put it in again, and um, you have your logo and you're out and about and you're walking and 
telephone rings, you just like flip it open and you start talking and you got your Chanel logo here. So you're like talking like this basically on your phone. I think it's gorgeous. Look how go gorgeous this looks because it's kind of like a little bit um, like old school, maybe 90s, you know, first mobile devices that were like ginormous, they looked like tanks when you would wear them, but they had that beautiful shape at the same time. This is kind of similar because it's like opening it up and talking and also this enhances the sound. So it, it kind of works as a, like an extra microphone for the phone. So your people you're talking to are gonna hear you even better because Chanel is enhancing those sound waves. So you're talking like this. Look at this kilting. This thing is gorgeous. Hello, 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 hello. Yeah, it's me, you know, I just went shopping. What did I buy? Oh, nothing, Chanel, you know. All the futile discourses you can make and fun discourses you can make on the phone, make them with the Chanel phone case. They don't produce them anymore. And I don't even know if they produce them for the new iPhones or if they don't. But if they do, I don't know if the quality is as good as it used to be because this is just so sturdy and beautiful. If I had an iPhone 4, I would have kept it for myself. I wouldn't have uh, let this baby go. Anyway, let me guys know what you think about uh, this particular piece and in general, what you think about Chanel, you know, phone case holders or in general, what do you think about big brands, luxury brands making um, smartphone holders, smartphone device holders f that cost more than the actual smartphone, which is, awkward i mean i would I'm, I'm kind of not a fan of that to be perfectly honest with you but since this was second hand i did manage to find it for an extremely low price uh so i was very lucky about that this one you used to cost around 400 euro i was uh, capable of finding it for around 80 90. so that was uh that was a steal for something so beautiful and since uh my friend does not want to change smartphone she sticks to her iphone 4 i was like well if you want something like that i'll hunt it down for you and here we go that would be it that was the phone case let me know what you guys think comments in the comment section below please and don't forget to subscribe to my channel and share this video if you wish to see more love you take care see you soon bye Mwah. Hey guys, I hope you enjoyed my video and if you haven't already, don't forget to subscribe to my channel and check out some of my other videos. I'm also on Twitter, Facebook and Instagram. So come on over guys and join the fun!